Have you ever clicked on a YouTube video, only to find yourself bored within the first few seconds? We've all been there. It's a common experience, and it can be incredibly frustrating. You click on a video with high hopes, only to be let down almost immediately. A weak introduction can make us lose interest instantly, but a strong one? It can pull us in, making us want to stay and watch more. It's the difference between clicking away and staying engaged. That's the secret sauce that keeps us glued to the screen. A compelling introduction hooks us, making us curious about what's coming next. It sets the tone and gives us a reason to keep watching. Why are strong introductions so important? It's not just about grabbing attention, it's about setting expectations and creating a connection with the audience. They capture our attention, set the stage for what's to come, and make us eager to learn more. A good introduction can make us feel invested in the content, making us more likely to stick around. In the world of YouTube, where attention spans are short and competition is fierce, a captivating introduction can be the difference between a viral hit and a video that fades into obscurity. With so many videos vying for our attention, a strong start is crucial. Think of your favorite YouTubers. What makes their content stand out? It's often their ability to draw you in right from the start. What do their introductions have in common? They know how to grab your attention and keep it. They understand the importance of those first few seconds. Chances are, they're concise, engaging, and relevant to the video's content. They don't waste time. They get straight to the point and make you want to keep watching. They pique your curiosity and make you excited to see what happens next. A great introduction is like a promise that the rest of the video will be worth your time. It sets the stage for an engaging and enjoyable viewing experience. So, the next time you're creating content, remember the power of a strong introduction. It's your chance to make a great first impression and keep your audience hooked from the very beginning. Whether you're a seasoned creator or just starting out, mastering the art of the introduction can make all the difference. It's the key to turning viewers into loyal subscribers and fans. So take the time to craft an introduction that captivates, engages, and excites. Your audience will thank you for it, and your content will shine brighter than ever before. Let's dive into the practical side of things. How do you actually write a killer YouTube intro? The key is to think of it as a mini movie trailer. You want to give viewers a taste of what's to come without giving away all the good stuff. Start with a hook, something that will grab attention right away. This could be a provocative question, a surprising statistic, or a bold statement related to your video's topic. Next, briefly introduce yourself and your channel, especially if you're welcoming new viewers. Finally, give a concise overview of what your video will cover, highlighting the key takeaways and benefits of watching. Longer YouTube videos often benefit from being divided into chapters or sections. Just like the main intro, each chapter intro needs to hook viewers and smoothly transition them into the next part of your content. How do you create a seamless flow between chapters? Start by recapping the key points from the previous section. This helps viewers refresh their memory and provides context for what's to come. Then, introduce the topic of the current chapter and explain how it builds upon the previous information. Finally, don't forget to tease what viewers can expect to learn in this section further piquing their curiosity and encouraging them to keep watching. While this essay focuses on YouTube, the principles of strong introductions apply to other forms of writing as well, including essays. A compelling essay introduction is crucial for engaging your reader and setting the tone for your argument. So how do you write an essay introduction that captivates? Begin with a hook that grabs the reader's attention and introduces the topic of your essay. This could be a thought-provoking question, a relevant anecdote, or a startling statistic. Next, provide some background information on the topic, setting the context for your argument. Finally, end your introduction with a clear and concise thesis statement that outlines the main argument or purpose of your essay. Section 5. Report introductions setting the tone for professionalism. Report introductions differ from essay introductions in that they need to be more formal and objective in tone. Unlike essays, which can sometimes allow for a more personal touch or narrative style, reports must adhere to a strict professional standard. This means avoiding colloquial language and ensuring that the introduction is clear, concise, and to the point. 
The goal is to clearly state the purpose and scope of the report while maintaining a professional demeanor. This involves not only stating what the report will cover, but also why it is important. The introduction should provide enough information to engage the reader's interest while also setting the stage for the detailed analysis that will follow. How do you achieve this balance of professionalism and engagement? It's a delicate act, but it can be mastered with practice and attention to detail. The key is to be clear and direct while also being thorough and informative. Begin by stating the purpose of the report and the main topics it will cover. This initial statement should be straightforward and unambiguous, leaving no room for misinterpretation. It sets the foundation for the entire document. Then, provide some background information on the subject matter, setting the context for the report's findings. This background information is crucial as it helps the reader understand the relevance and importance of the report. It can include historical data, current trends, or any other pertinent information that will help frame the report's content. Finally, briefly outline the structure of the report, guiding the reader through the information that will be presented. This outline acts as a roadmap, helping the reader navigate through the various sections of the report. It should be clear and logical, making it easy for the reader to follow along. This helps create a clear roadmap for the reader and sets expectations for what's to come. By providing a well-structured introduction, you not only set the tone for professionalism, but also ensure that the reader is well prepared to absorb the detailed information that follows. This approach not only enhances the readability of the report, but also underscores the credibility and reliability of the information presented. Engaging questions are powerful tools in any content creator's arsenal. They encourage active listening, spark curiosity, and prompt viewers to think critically about the information presented. What makes a question truly engaging? First and foremost, it needs to be relevant to the topic at hand and pique the viewer's interest. Open-ended questions that invite a variety of perspectives tend to be more engaging than simple yes or no questions. Don't be afraid to get creative with your questions. Use humor, intrigue, or even a touch of controversy to spark a conversation and encourage viewers to share their thoughts in the comments. Section 7. Calls to Action Turning viewers into active participants Have you ever noticed how YouTubers often encourage viewers to like, comment and subscribe? These simple prompts are more than just a trend. These are all examples of calls to action. Prompts that encourage viewers to actively engage with your content, rather than passively consuming it. By asking viewers to take specific actions, you are inviting them to become part of a larger conversation. Why are calls to action so important? They foster a sense of community, encourage interaction, and create a more dynamic viewing experience. When viewers feel like they are part of a community, they are more likely to return to your channel and engage with future content. Additionally, calls to action can even boost your video's visibility on YouTube's algorithm. The more engagement your video receives, the higher it will rank in search results and recommendations. Be specific with your calls to action. Don't just ask viewers to engage, tell them exactly what you want them to do. Specificity can make a big difference in how viewers respond. For example, you could ask them to share their thoughts on the video's topic in the comments, take a poll related to the content, or even share the video with their friends. Polls and surveys are great ways to get viewers involved and make them feel like their opinions matter. And of course, don't forget to ask them to subscribe for more videos like this one. Subscribing ensures they won't miss any future content and helps build a loyal audience base. Remember, the goal is to turn passive viewers into active participants. By using effective calls to action, you can create a more engaging and interactive experience for your audience. So, next time you create a video, think about how you can encourage your viewers to take action. Whether it's liking, commenting, subscribing, or sharing, every interaction helps build a stronger community around your content. With thoughtful and specific calls to action, you can transform your viewers from passive watchers into active participants who are excited to engage with your content.